Hi everyone, I'm Brendan from Antares Ventures. So it is nice uh, talking to you from uh, my homeland, Sarawak. So as you know, hold on, sorry. So as you know, Sarawak is very famous with uh, our rainforest, the uh, flora and fauna, and also rich in uh, culture and tradition. So one of the tradition that has been passed down from generations is a paddy planting activity in Sarawak. In the Sarawak is a truly unique place where there are only a few in the world that have uh, unique rice, uh, such as uh, our the famous barrio rice from the uh, Galabi community from Barrio Highland. We have the Itam black rice from the Lunbawang community from uh, Bakalalan Highland. We also have uh, the Bajong purple rice from the Iban community and the red rice from uh, the Bidayu community. So all these rice are heirloom variety. The heirloom variety meaning that these are the varieties that have been passed down from generation where the um, authenticity and the quality of the rice uh, doesn't change throughout the generation. So this variety of rice, as you notice that uh, there are many colors and all these colors are colored by the endocrinin from uh, the rice bran, which uh, this endocrinin uh, contain a very high antioxidant and rich in nutrient. We also have uh, uh, research from different universities and our local university that prove the rice uh, itself contain very high antioxidant which has lots of uh, values, health values. So as and one of the special uh, about our rice is there are many uh, areas in Sarawak, rice planting traditions still carry out in a very traditional where if you go to Baklalan Highland, you will still see buffaloes. The local uh, farmers are using buffaloes to um, prepare their land to control the wheat. And uh, how they harvest their paddy also using very traditional way. No doubt uh, currently the government has uh, beginning to introduce uh, mechanization to a certain area. However, the highland is difficult to, uh, to reach. Therefore, Usually the highland area, uh, traditional planting methods still carry out. The, and in the Sarawak, there are three varieties of rice that has been labeled as a geogra geogra uh, geographical indication, meaning that this uh, rice, uh, specialty rice, and only available and produced in certain geographical area, such as our biris uh, rice from the Iban community from Simunjan, and uh, uh, Bajong purple rice from Lubuk Nibong, which is uh, the Iban uh, community as well. And our famous uh, Barrio rice from the Kalabi community from Barrio Highland. Despite of all these uh, uh, specialty and uh, quality uh, of our local rice, you'll be surprised to hear that our Sarawak rice production has been declining every year. Mm. Let me tell you why the price and the production of our Sarawak rice is four to five times higher than the normal imported rice from Thailand and Vietnam. The uh, Thailand and uh, Vietnamese rice that are available in supermarket range from about uh, two ringgit 80 cents to five ringgit. But our uh, Sarawak specialty rice, they are all range from uh, above 10 ringgit per kilo. Because of the big uh, price difference, majority of the consumers uh, prefer to uh, purchase the uh, cheaper rice from uh, Thailand and uh, uh, Vietnam. And the, uh, therefore, the uh, demand for our specialty rice is lower. And, uh, they, and furthermore, the younger generation, they are not interested to participate in paddy planting. And uh, currently, most of the paddy farmers are senior citizen and uh, if we are not doing anything about this perhaps one day this rice will be 
disappear from the land of uh, Sarawak, especially Biris, the uh, local fragrant rice from Simunjan is almost extinct. Even the, it's difficult to uh, find the original and the pure uh, variety of uh, Biris in Sarawak now. So therefore, uh, our company, uh, Antares Ventures, we come in to uh, bring economic empowerment and sustainability to rural paddy farmers across uh, Sarawak. We work with uh, local uh, farmers and uh, hoping to preserve our proud planting, uh, paddy planting and the varieties of alum rice in Sarawak. We believe that uh, by using modern and effective marketing is the way to increase and to the create greater demand for our Sarawak rice. Therefore, uh, it, uh, our mission is to enable our farmers to prosper while growing and preserving their indigenous rice farming activity. So we uh, collect uh, the paddy from the farmers, we process it and we uh, pack it in vacuum pack and we do a branding helping them to do branding. This is how our rice look like in the supermarket. We have to pack it in a vacuum pack so that uh, it is, uh, we can prevent weevils from uh, the rice. If uh, without vacuum pack, it may, uh, after two to three months, you will see a lot of weevil. But uh, after vacuum pack, it can last up to two years uh, on shelf without uh, contamination or uh, this uh, infected by the weevil. So the, other than the, our uh, range of healthy rice, we produce value-added product from our Sarawak rice as well. We have our delicious uh, purple rice vermicelli. This is our first uh, in the market that we use Sarawak purple rice to produce uh, this purple vermicelli, which is very rich in nutrient and uh, antioxidant and the taste is very nice and the texture itself is really good and uh, it will be perfect to come uh, together with the Sarawak laksa and we also have uh, our black rice tea from uh, our Sarawak local black rice and black rice has been known uh, and popular of its uh, health value and antioxidant. So this, uh, in, instead of we have to consume a lot of uh, black rice to get the nutrient and the ox antioxidant, when we produce into uh, this uh, black rice tea, you simply just uh, add in hot water and all the nutrient and the antioxidant will infuse into the water and you can drink it any time of the day, and anywhere, you can bring it along with you. And this tea do not have any um, caffeine even if you drink it at night, it would uh, help you to sleep better even. Then other than the, this, uh, the vermicelli and the black rice tea, we also uh, looking forward to produce our instant superfood beverage from the three premium rice from Sarawak, which is the red rice, the uh, barrio rice, and also our bajong purple rice. And, with the one sachet of this uh, healthy uh, beverage, it can replace or uh, can become a healthy breakfast for those who are uh, working in the city. They can simply just bring one or two sachet with them to their office and mix with hot water, then they can have a healthy breakfast. And we are looking forward to produce uh, a baby food, a baby porridge using our uh, premium rice as well. There are many modern mothers who, uh, when their baby reaching five or six months, they start to feed them uh, more solid food instead of just milk. Uh, most of the mothers will look for uh, specialty rice uh, to make into porridge and blend it with other uh, vegetable for their baby. And currently in the market, it's a bit difficult to look for all these uh, uh, premium and uh, specialty rice. So if you make it into uh, porridge uh, powder, and it, it is very convenient for modern mothers who just uh, take a few scoop and uh, mix with warm water and their baby can have a, a healthy uh, uh, porridge and meal.
And we're also looking forward to uh, produce uh, rice powder in the future, which uh, it is gluten-free and suitable for uh, some uh, food uh, product. So these are some of the products uh, that we have in our Sarawak local supermarket and we look forward uh, to have our premium and healthy product in Singapore as well. And uh, here we welcome uh, our neighboring partners from Singapore to take part in our effort to offer our customers a range of healthy and high quality rice based products. And at the same time, we can support the livelihood of our Sarawak rural paddy farmers and to contribute to the sustainability and continuity of our Sarawak indigenous and heirloom rice production. So the, uh, that is uh, my presentation for our Sarawak rice.